I have fallen in love with these sketchbooks. I absolutely love them, but somebody has told me that they have changed. I am pretty damn excited to try to see if the new version of the ill sketchbook is the same and behaves the same as the old version of the ill sketchbook. So this one is from before 2000, uh, well, before the new year, this is from after new year. I had a chat with Rin and she said that they have changed at least how they take watercolor, but she did ask the, or somebody asked the actual manufacturer and they haven't changed anything. So I'm just curious to see if the change or the differences that people are experiencing are just by like how they're using watercolor or if it's really the paper and I really hope it's not the paper because I'm loving drawing in the sketchbook but I need to make sure that it will be the same next time I start using a new one. So I've used this one for over a good month now and as you guys know I was using this for uh, Mermaid and that's why it's so bunched up because I use watercolor and it's pretty much just it's just filled with stuff at this point. Um, and I'm gonna start continue to use this for a good long while. Um, and I, I absolutely love it. This is the first time I found a sketchbook that I absolutely truly love to use. I've never found this before, except for when I was 13 and sketching really cheap sketchbooks. But this is the first time I'm close to finishing a sketchbook in at least five years, which is really impressive to me. Now, they do say that the new Illo sketchbook have changed the paper. So I'm going to do a test where I pretty much draw the same drawing in both sketchbooks and I will use the watercolor the same way. I'll color one part here and then one part here just to make sure I have the same colors. And then we'll see if there's any difference on this one versus this one. Now watercolor is very fluid, like it can do a lot of stuff. So I don't know, there might be some differences in how I use the watercolor, but it shouldn't be too much. Um, things that I've heard, things that I've seen is that the watercolor would just evaporate and there will be like tiny spots and freckles and and just stuff like that so I uh, I'm very curious to see if that will happen to me as well since I've already used it so much in the sketchbook most of the people who have seen tried it before and um, has either never tried watercolor or either never tried the ill sketchbook so the f they have the first experience with the new one so and I'll also say that a lot of you guys buying ill sketchbooks because I'm using it and I'm like, no, no, wait until I test the new one because I don't know if to say. But yeah, let's, let's, let's do this. So I am going to open this properly. This did have plastic, uh, but I just opened it halfway. I just was really curious when I got it and I wanted to see if it's it wasn't any difference just by the touch. The thickness of course is different because this one's new and this one is not. Um, I think my boyfriend said that he didn't feel any difference in the paper. I feel like I kind of do but that might also be because I'm just used to drawing in a sketchbook that has a lot of drawings. So I think what we are going to do is... Let's find this is uni 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 <laughs> unicorns. Um, let's see if I can find the same page in this. Oh, well, maybe that's stupid. Wait, let's just do, 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 do. So from just like I feel like this is wider, but I'm sure this is just me being weird. This might even be smoother. It's so hard to know what you think when you feel like somebody's told you this is what's happening to this one and not to this one and you feel like you should feel a difference but I don't know so um, I'm probably not gonna do it like the best drawing and I feel like I should do it further back in the book just so I can like compare it properly uh, we'll keep it here shall we okay I'm gonna put the new one over here and I'm gonna start with my usual one and I'm gonna sketch something and I will be back with you guys in just a second
All right, so I've drawn the drawing here. I don't like it that much, but hey, it's a unicorn and this unicorn, so at least we have that. I'm gonna try and attempt to draw the same drawing here. Uh, and we're also gonna have some space on the top here and the bottom here just to test them with swatches and stuff. I just thought that doing in that actual drawing would be more interesting and probably more beneficial than just trying to do swatches because using them in the drawing itself is more like, I don't know, risky <laughs> than like just, um, just doing it uh, with swatches and stuff. Okay, I, I need to focus. Okay, I'm gonna draw this again. <laughs> All right, that's as close I can do. Um, it's definitely not the same. Wait, look, how can I show? Oh, there we go. So it, they're definitely not this. This, <laughs> this one's so much bigger. <laughs> I've never tried to redraw my drawing right after drawing it, and I actually like this one more because it's just like drawn after the the, the first sketch. But hey, so um, something that I think that I will do is that I will always I will make some swatches up here as well, and then I will try and really scrub with my eraser and see if that makes a difference because that might make a difference. I saw somebody do that and somebody say that that might be why freckles show up or something like that. So I'm gonna try it. Um, we can we can do a little two, two squares here. Eraser, no eraser. Because <laughs> we're so scientific. I hate doing swatches if you didn't know. So let's really work up this paper, shall we? When I've, uh, I've had problems with this before where I've erased with this eraser and the effect has been less than like it, it, it leaves some sort of residue which is not very nice this is a cheap eraser so we get double so it's really hard to focus on on both of these and my watercolors so i am going to zoom in so that you can see both of these but you won't see how i'm doing my watercolor because that will be too much stuff for this video <laughs> is that good enough oh i guess we should do the line art i'll do the line art like this I promise you it's actually not a trick of the camera angle, this one is bigger, but it looks like it, the camera is tilted because it's bigger. <laughs> Alright, so for the line art I used a Faber-Castell 8B pencil. It's just smaller, uh, it says 9000 here if that helps you at all. Uh, and water-based varnish, it says on it. So this is what I've been using for all my mermaid drawings in the sketchbook. So that's why I thought I would use it on the sketchbook as well. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I used before. It's just like a compact brush from Van Gogh, number six. It says 191 selected filaments or something like that. I also used it to scoop up some gold. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to uh, mix a color and we're gonna add that to our drawings. So something that I do want to try and do is to get a sort of um, gradient. So I want to get a gradient, pretty much like I want to do a base color for the whole thing except for the horns and uh, with a slight gradient because I, I just really like gradients. <laughs> so I'm going to take a bunch of one of my colors that are pretty much pure so that I don't mess it up. I'm going to start with our unicorn over here and I'm going to just use it as I would always use it all the way up to his top of his head. So something that I have noticed from the Illo sketchbook is that um, when you put watercolor on for the first time it kind of lies on top for a little bit like like a little puddle and it, it kind of resists the watercolor and then it takes the watercolor. So this, that's something I learned from like the beginning when I started using watercolor on this. And it just like, I just got over it. Like I figured that out and I'm used to that. Okay, let's try this, this guy. And do the exact same thing. That's for his face 
Uh, yeah, it might be a bit darker on this because I laid down more color. And then we will try the other side. Let's actually let's do something interesting. I want to see the swatches. So I'm gonna do the same color because I, I trust this color. I really like this color. I'm gonna do the no first. Like, like so. And I'm gonna pick it up so that it doesn't lay in puddles. Like so. I'm gonna do that here too. Pick it up so that it I don't know, it seems like everything is darker on this paper, which is weird. Also, there's like something here, but I don't know if that's- because I know I raced over there, so maybe it's there, that, but like it doesn't look that different overall. Let's just continue with our, our unicorn, shall we? You can see it kind of resisting on this paper. I don't know if you can see it. It's slight, but it is there. This is resisting here too, because it's supposed to be the same paper. <laughs> But they aren't meant for watercolor. Everyone needs to know that. But I've just figured out a way that the watercolor really worked for me. So. I don't know. You kind of have to teach yourself how to use different materials. It doesn't. It, it's not going to just work for you. The first time I used this thing. It. Okay, there is freckles and I'm kind of really scared that, that this is my fault <laughs> what? that is not good what is that I, I know I raced there so maybe that is it let's just keep going I'm actually so sad if this is if, if this is real because I'm trying to use the same patches of watercolor and the, like the exact same spots whenever I do it. <sighs> Let's try the butt. Oh no. <laughs> no, I don't want it to change. What is it? Is it the paper piling up? Is that what's going on? It looks like the paper is piling up. Let's try and really. Okay, I'm gonna do a rub test at one point here. Cause it was working so well on the head, so I'm just confused to why put it down here, it's not working. So if I take the same color and over here I rub. So I really aggravate the paper. Really go for it. That will create freckles. And then over here I'll just do a slight one. I will try and not aggravate at all. Here, I'll really aggravate again. And then, here, I'll not aggravate at all. 
It's just weird. Because I know I erased a lot here and it didn't happen here. And I don't know if I erased anything here. I'm honestly so sad. I was hoping that this wouldn't be a problem. But it is clearly a problem. Uh, okay, let's just try and keep going. I'm not I don't I I'm not ready to give up yet, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best. I'm not gonna give up. I'm oh I'm so sad. It's not like it's the worst, but if you don't want freckles in your art, then it, it's <laughs> you know. Like I was never originally going to use um going to use the sketchbook for any sort of like finished art. I was like, this is not gonna take watercolor, this is not gonna take watercolor. And that was my mindset. Uh, but then I started using watercolor and I was like, oh, this is really nice. But now I'm like really sad that this is this is the thing. Let's try and start here. And then do this side. I might send a message to Illa Sketchbook and be like, yo. Can you, can you look at this video and be like, tell me that I'm doing something wrong? <laughs> because something has changed in this formula. <laughs> it is definitely freckling. I thought people were just being overdramatic or something. I thought people were just rubbing the paper too hard and something was happening there. But... Because I know this paper usually, I get some of these um, separations here and there, and I know that, like, that's that's usual to me, but let me try and, try and do that on, on both sides. Just some pure pigment here. I can get some pure pigments. I'm gonna see how that dries, because I'm just curious, because it seems to be drying differently. I think the reason I didn't believe people when they were saying that it was happening, I was like, but you haven't had the previous version, you don't know if it's just you or if it's the actual paper. Let's go again with some more of the really dark color. to do now I'm pretty sad because I can clearly see a difference and it's not just the light it's not just that this is bigger and this is like closer to the the, the window and I'm I am going to put them like better views that you guys can see but to me the color is duller and the color is speckled like you can see it really well on the magenta here. Like what is going on here? <laughs> what is this compared to this? This has like a smooth gradient. It's not completely dry yet, so I'm not gonna touch it. But this has a smooth sort of gradient. But this is just like, what is going on? What it? Damn it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm so sad. I am so sad because I loved using this sketchbook. I absolutely love it and like why is this happening so I am I am going to ask maybe maybe because I know they're doing like pre-orders right now so they're not gonna be delivered for a while so maybe that paper is different than this one and this is the reason why there was some pre-order I don't know I'm going to I'm going to send them a message and be like yo what's going on can you fix your paper please because <laughs> it was my dream sketchbook Let's, let's do something crazy and add some white white spots, shall we? Honestly, like I'm I'm giving <laughs> less and less care to this art. <sighs> All right, 
that is the test. I'm sorry guys, it seems to have changed. Both in the vibrancy and also the spotting, which is really sad. Like here, yes, this is not like completely flat, but it's not meant for watercolor. But here, it's really just... And... Is that going through the paper? Is that actually going through the paper? I've never had that happen with the other one. Oh, damn it. That is actually going through the paper. Okay, hi guys. I just thought I would film another end card. So this is the next day. I filmed what you just saw yesterday and I ended it on quite a like sad note. I was pretty disappointed. So I'm not going to show that end clip and I'm going to talk a little bit now because I feel like I've collected myself and I've realized that it's it's okay. Everything's okay. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> so there is definitely a change in the paper because the freckling never happens here, even with the same color. So I think maybe the color might have been a problem. That's why I'm going to show some swatches that I did later that day. Um, but the fact that it doesn't happen on this side, but it does happen on this side, does tell me that something has changed. But even if it freckles, the color is still okay. Um, it hasn't gone lighter. I double checked my footage. What I said was wrong. It did not go lighter. I've checked it with my uh, swatches. So I'll show you guys that. And it is possible to do watercolor and to do good art in the sketchbook, the new one. And it might have even changed in the new pre-orders that they've had open for a while now. I don't think anyone has received theirs for quite some time. So they might have changed it again. Who knows? I just think that I will probably use this sketchbook, the new one, anyway. And just work with it. I think that's part of working in the sketchbook. It's not meant to be beautiful and the fact that I've been blessed with this paper and I've been so lucky with this paper for so long, it's just lucky. And um, yeah, it's a sketchbook and I will learn to work with what I got and that is what I have decided. But I will just show you guys now the uh, swatches that I did of both the, both the papers with different like amount of water, amount of pigment, all my different pigments and then show you guys that it seems to be very random when the speckling happens. So this is all going to be handheld because this is a bit of a I'm doing this really quickly thing uh, but this is the older sketchbook, this is the new sketchbook and as you can see they're pretty much similar and I also did it in this exact same page last page of the book for both of them. This black stuff is a marker because I just wanted to test it. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. So, here are all my colors on the, the old paper. All my different watercolors that I use to paint with. And they look all right. They don't look like they are on proper watercolor paper, but they work. Now, we go over here. It's not too bad. You can see it a bit in the brown. You can see it a bit in the blue and also this color a tiny tiny bit but it's not too bad and this is what made me think I can make this work now for this one where I have pretty much pure color here and faded it out you can see there's separation here and there I also did a puddle here it's pretty much just a big puddle of really dark pigment this is something that I noticed that you cannot do on the new paper if you do that it will freckle or separate and and that's what happened here doesn't want to dry flat. Um, the color is a bit more faded, but it's it's pretty pretty much the same. Uh, the green one, the same thing, but the puddles you can see the separation even more, and you can't really see it here. It happened a little bit here, but not in the same way. And I think the thing here is just they are different. They are behaving in different ways. So I think that just settles it. Like they're different. I can learn to work with this and I will learn to work with this when I finish this sketchbook. You can definitely see it in this color though. This is just level layer of paint, the same paint I use for the unicorn. And you can see here, it has some sort of freckling going on here. And the same thing here. But as I said, I think I can learn to work with this. So that is the end of this video. <laughs> Don't be sad if you bought a yellow sketchbook and it doesn't behave the same way as mine did before. You can learn to work with it, as you can see the colors are the same vibrancy. 
So it, it, it's fine. It's just a freckling that happens sometimes, which is really weird and annoying. And I will email Illo and ask about this and see what they say. And I'll make a follow-up video. I just thought I didn't want to end it on a bad note. But here you go. <laughs> the swatches. I'll also scan these two and I'll put it somewhere online so you can look at them. If you want to study them, both of the unicorn and the swatches of both the pages. But yeah, I will continue to use this when I finish this. So, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and enjoy this video even though it's a bit more of a test video. Love you all, see you next week. Bye bye!